hello everyone welcome back to the another brand new adobe premiere pro tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to color correct the red log footage so basically what is the log footage so as you can see on the screen so the log footage is basically the desaturated washed out like this the benefit of recording in log format basically capturing the more dynamic range and we can play around the color correction so in this tutorial we're going to take a look how to color correct the log footage so as you can see we have uh, two clips so as you can see this one and this one so these two and by the way these two are just a steel frame so as you can see this is recorded by the red dragon 6k red log iso 800 and this one is the red dragon 6k also and iso 3200 so as you can see these two images as you can see looking pretty flat and we're going to convert this image something like this so now as you can see the huge difference between two images so as you can see the benefit of flat so you can really play around the colors and the look of the image and you can apply alerts so what is the alerts alerts is basically the lookup table you can grab online and apply directly to get the film look also the blockbusters the log is pretty damn good so as you can see and we're going to show you the how to work on the red file so as you can see, this is the red so as you can see pretty good and as you can see i'm working the uh, because this is the 6k huge file and the resolution is incredible so let's get started so as you can see we apply the lumetri color as usual because we are in adobe premiere pro lumetri color is the best for log and color correction okay so let's see how we can do this so i'm gonna press alt and drag up make a copy and move here and I'm gonna delete the lumetri color okay so as you can see this is the log and I'm gonna switch the color tab and first thing first as you can see my lumetri scopes so this is the RGB waveform so this is basically showing me the color of that image so as you can see the 100 means pure white and the 0 means pure black and this is in the middle so we need to push this down and and also up towards the 100 let's see and as you can see in the color tab you can see the lumetri lumetri color first thing first i'm gonna go inside the curves and as you can see we need to push this down so as you can see i'm grab grabbing the shadows so the curve is very simple so this area is, is your shadow and the middle part is your mid-tone and the top part is your highlights so so this is the shadow area so i'm gonna push this down and as you can see in my lumetri scope everything is pushing down so as you can see i need to push more and i think that's looking pretty good so as you can see it's almost zero you don't want to push beyond the zero so i don't want to clipping my colors so i think that's looking pretty good and let's push the highlights towards the hundred so as you can see i'm gonna push this one pay attention to the lumetri scope okay so that's pretty good as you can see it's almost touching so as you can see now the blacks and whites are looking pretty good and as you can see i'm gonna show you the before and after so this is the before applying the curves and this is the after okay so let's go into the red one so as you can see the red is very high so i'm gonna put a point over middle and push my highlight a little bit down so as you can see just like this and also my blue so as you can see the blue is i'm also need to push the blue down just a little bit so i'm gonna add a middle point and push my blue highlight so as you can see now this is pretty good so so in this stage so as you can see my black and white are pretty good so now i need to switch the scope so i'm gonna right click and i need the vector scope so this vector scope is actually showing me let me hide the waveform so this vector scope is actually showing me the colors of this image so as you can see we need to inside of this ring so as you can see this ring and i need to bigger that area so how we do that let's go to the creative tab and let's increase the saturation 
120 so as you can see as i increase the saturation this thing getting bigger and you can see the colors of that image now as you can see we getting somewhere okay let's push the saturation maybe 150 okay so i think this looks pretty good so let me show you the before and after so this is the before applying the saturation and this is the after so as you can see we getting the lot more colors and let's go to the basic tab and let's play around these contrast highlight and shadows and blacks so let me switch this to my waveform and let's hide the vector scope and let's decrease my blacks and increase my whites just a little bit so as you can see the blacks going down and highlights going up so i don't want too much I don't want to clip my blacks and white and in the contrast let me increase a little bit and we can also increase the exposure 0.1 so as you can see this looks pretty good okay and let's increase the saturation in the basic tab 120 okay so this looks pretty good let's close this and go to the curves again and i need to push the green just a little bit okay so as you can see let me show you so this is the before and after so looks pretty good and let's see the vector scope so as you can see the vector scope is looking pretty good so let me close and go to the waveform so as you can see in this stage this thing looks pretty good and if if i compare to my original color correct so as you can see this one and this one looks exactly same okay so as you can see this is let me switch this to full and lastly i'm gonna go inside the creative tab and i'm gonna add the sharpening maybe 40 okay so let's increase the vibrance a little bit and now this thing is done look at the insane amount of detail of her face so as you can see this is my color correct footage from the red log so as you can see pretty damn good and let's move on to the next one so as you can see this one so this is also a flat so in in this footage i'm really focusing on the skin tones so as you can see so as you can see in my waveform i need to push blacks really down so first thing go inside the curve and push the shadows i think i need to more push so let me pushing my shadows and let's push the highlight up a little bit so as you can see so this thing getting look so as you can see before and after so before applying the curve and after so let's go inside the creative tab and let's increase the saturation maybe 120 and let's see how this thing looks so and i think i need to increase more okay so let's see my vector scope so as you can see in my vector scope so look so looking pretty good and let's close this and go inside the basics and increase here also the saturation maybe 110 okay so let's increase more 120 so as you can see this thing inside almost inside in this line so i'm gonna decrease a little bit maybe 115 okay so let's close this and go inside the curve and close the and close the vector scope and enable the waveform rgb waveform so as you can see i need to push my green up a little bit in in the highlight area so as you can see the green is down and red is on top so i'm gonna push this green highlight so as you can see as i pushing the green so you can see her face and also decrease green in the shadows a little bit and let's go inside the blue and crank up the blue in the shadow area something like this and let's also here let's close this one and go inside the basics and let's and let's enable and let's increase the contrast and decrease the black and increase the whites and also decrease the shadows to get the look of that scene so as you can see now this thing looks pretty good actually so as you can see this thing looks pretty damn good and set this to full you can see 
the full 6k in 1080p because obviously this tutorial in 1080p because of my screen resolution is 1080p but you get the idea of how to color correct the 6k because you have a lot more data in your image you can make this thing really pop up but i'm here just to show you the quick way how to color correct the red log footage okay so let me go inside the creative tab and let's increase the sharpness may 50 so now as you can see let me zoom and show you some of the detail so as you can see so much detail of her face so as you can see lot more detail so this is incredible so as you can see and let's increase the vibrance maybe 10 let's close these and go to the curves and let me decrease the rgb so now as you can see if i compare these so as you can see the before and after before color correction and after color correction so this is pretty good so and now in this stage you can color grade this footage so guys if you want to see how i color grade this footage let me know in the comment below i'm gonna make a tutorial show you my process how i approach the film look and whatever you want to see so let me see the first one so as you can see this and this so as you can see before and after pretty damn good and also this one so the huge difference and this is the benefit of using the log file and i'm using the red logs and that's pretty damn good for us and so guys so this is the color correction tutorial in premiere pro so let me know in the comment below what do you think about that and hopefully you learn something about the color correction and thank you so much for watching and if you and if you interested to see more color correction and color grading tutorial in premiere pro let me know in the comment below i'm gonna make a tutorial for you so that's all in this tutorial so hope you enjoy and we will see you in a very next tutorial have a great day